Now? I can do it now? Yay! Happy fall! What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are in our Barbie style room, aired with our hidden kitchen. And I was thinking, since it's fall, let's check out a little fall decor. First stop, the dollar store. Roses that are looking back at you. These are definitely too large for our 1-6 scale dollhouse, but I'm liking the color palette. I've been seeing a lot of purple and pink this spooky season. And there are some little branches that we could use in a DIY. I found these pumpkins for $1.25. We get three, they're cream colored with little speckles, and there are clips on the back. We have seen these and similar pumpkins before at the Dollar Tree. They're foam with a plastic top. Let's remove the clip, take those branches from the flowers, push them into the pumpkin. There are some black leaves on the flowers. Cut the leaves to make them smaller. Glue them onto the pumpkin. Cut a petal off the flower. Trim it to make a circle. Fold it in half, then fold it again. Then kind of pinch the end. Make several and glue them onto the pumpkin. I picked up a few pink flowers from the dollar store as well. Let's add one on top to make a decorative pumpkin for the dollhouse. I also found these pink velvet pumpkins for $1.25. We can just remove the clip and place it around the dollhouse. I think we could even use them as pillows. The Dollar Tree had little pumpkin tin pails. These were $1.25. They look like a great size for the dollhouse. You could use it as a planter or fill it with candy and have it at your doll front door. Five Below had some pretty nice pumpkins as well for $2. We have a total of five pumpkins in a couple of different sizes. While they're still made out of foam, these have a pretty nice smooth finish. We can pair it with some artificial plants from the Dollar Tree to make our pumpkin centerpiece in a different color. There are a lot of these little pumpkins in several different stores, and there's a lot we can do with them. We can sketch a face and paint it or carve it out. Since it's just foam, it's not difficult to do. Then paint it to make a doll-sized jack-o'-lantern. Let's take some recycled cardstock, cut a small rectangle to make a door, cut the foam pumpkin, paint the door, glue it into the cutout, add a window to make a little pumpkin house. And I'm gonna add a few of those flowers to make a miniature pumpkin house for the dollhouse. If you're looking for a house that's a little bigger, I found this at Target for $5. It was at the front of the store in Bullseye's Playground, you know, the value section. It takes two AAA batteries, so it glows. Next to a Barbie, it's a pretty large house. It could be cute in a scene with those tiny OMG dolls or even Disney Dorables. What about micro figures from Super Impulse? You know, world's smallest? They made some Monster High figures that kind of look perfect. Oh yes, the ghouls have a school in miniature, but this house might be a little large for our space. While I was at Target, I found these skulls for a dollar. There are three different looks. They have a little bit of weight to them, but I think we could paint them if we wanted to. They are perfectly sized for the dollhouse. We can even add some of our flowers. The hot glue seems to stick pretty good, allowing us to bring in that touch of pink this spooky season. These were also at Target for a dollar. They are little skeleton animals. One's a dog, and I think the other is a cat. The cat is looking down, and the dog is sitting down. They're plastic, and I think they'll make good decorations for the dollhouse. The dollar store had this skeleton for $1.25. It does light up and make sounds. If you have a sensitivity to flashing lights, look away. There it is. 
the limbs can move, and I think there are some crafting possibilities here. I found this animal skeleton at Michael's for $5.99, but it was 40% off. It's posable. I think it's a dog. It can move at the ribs, the arms, the neck, and the tail, the legs. Not sure how to pose it. It looks like it's scooting on my floor, but I think it could be a fun little skeleton pet in the dollhouse. Speaking of dollhouses, made by Sam Q on Etsy, sent us a gift. Ooh, it looks like some Halloween stuff. This is a new Etsy shop made by Rose Gold Dolls on Instagram. And we get to check out a few things for the dollhouse. This is a miniature painting with ghosts, bats, and pumpkins giving the dollhouse a nice little Halloween feel. Then there's a box and we have to just cut through the little sticker to open it up. And inside we have a tiny little haunted house. It's black with orange and yellow details and there are little ghosts and pumpkins attached and bats. I see bats allowing us to instantly decorate the dollhouse for the season. At five below, I found this Hocus Pocus 2 Pocket Pop keychain for $4. It's Winifred Sanderson, one of the famous Sanderson sisters. I think we can totally use this as a little fandom decor. Just remove the hardware and place it on a counter adding a little whimsy to the room. Which reminds me, in the comments you all have been telling me to check out Biddy Pop, which are teeny tiny Funko Pop figures. Seriously, they're smaller than this. And I did grab a few, I just haven't opened them yet. So let's open one up. I bought this at five below, it was $3.25. It says we have one figure inside. It's a mystery. This has nothing to do with Halloween decor, but we're doing it anyway. We're going to go ahead and open the top and see our figure, which is Dale from Chippendale. It comes in a little plastic box with printed details. Yeah, those are on there. They're not paper. We can open it. The figure is attached to a base, which helps it to stand. Here's the size difference between the keychain and the Biddy Pop. It's perfectly sized for the dolls. I often think of Disney Dorables as pops for dolls, but yeah, these are smaller. But if you want to DIY your own, we do have a video with a printable for our Dorables. There is a little bit of a size difference with the Biddy Pop being smaller. And we can just see the figure better. I might go back and make a few adjustments to the printable. I picked these up at Michael's. They were $5.99 each and 40% off. I thought these were kind of neat looking. They are 3D, but it's flat in the back, but I still think they might look kind of cute against a wall. There's a flower, a snake, and a skull. I was wondering, could we glue two back to back? So I bought a second one. Um, I don't know, it might take a little bit of work because the mirror image of the snake is shining through and one side is white. So you would have to repaint that. Here's the flower and actually it doesn't look too bad. And here's the skull. I don't mind it, but they can stand on their own. So I think using just one is fine. And I plan on putting mine against a wall. I picked up a few little bottles. They're glass with a cork and the cork is removable so we could put something inside. There's a variety of shapes. I picked up a few paper flowers at Michael's. I was hoping we could place one inside the jar to make something kind of like this, but that's totally not going to fit. I thought these little mirrors looked pretty interesting. One is like a pewter and the other is gold. That is a real mirror. It's not finished on the other side, but if it was just laying on a counter, it could work. But now that we have these flowers, let's find something to do with them. We could use them on our pumpkins. I just mixed them in to add some more defined flowers. 
Let's add one to our pumpkin house. Would you live in a pumpkin? Let's add one to the skulls. Yeah, I like that. And maybe we can make some art with this skeleton that we bought from the dollar store. Earlier, we mentioned that we wanted to do a craft with it. So let's just remove the arms and the head and legs. I cut a piece of foam board that's a little larger than the skeleton. Cover it with scrapbook paper, paint coffee stirs or skinny sticks, and glue them to the sides. Glue the skeleton in the center. Glue on the flowers to create a work of art. Let's remove this painting. Add our new art. I'm going to remove our blanket and this orange pillow. I'm gonna add our pink Barbie bedding because I'm just not ready for the summer of Barbie to end. I'm adding a Jack Skellington Disney Durable and our handmade Jack Skellington pillows to add a little spooky to our decor. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few fun finds and items from Etsy to decorate the dollhouse. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.